Let's explain this one. I feel more alone when I'm with someone. Maybe that's cause of trauma, but I know it. And there's always chaos in my head. But I guess I choose this instead than being like everyone else. And it hurts when I push everyone away. Yeah, it hurts, so it's better that I just stay away. And that might sound sad or pathetic. That might sound sad or pathetic to you. But to me, it's freedom that you could never know is out here. And whenever you're mentally ill, or whatever they call that shit, in Western demoralization. Well, I don't buy it. Mm mm. No. Okay. That's alright. <laughs> Do not fuck up my song. <laughs> you want to say I'm a crazy cow lady? You are absolutely right. I mean, yes. That is the only thing to take pride in because anything that they try to shame you for, I kind of understand why the gays want a little ape shit with that, but. You know, the party's over. Party's over. It's the, <laughs> the gender after party, right? Right. I never mean to be mean, but I know that I'll get accused of it. Naturally, just talking like me makes me sound like a racist, makes me sound like a sexist, and definitely a misogynist. And that's just fine. I've always been that way. Since pretty early on And I don't think it's wrong Cause I've witnessed Society doing exactly what I thought that they would do Somehow I just knew And I consider myself something like a great value prophet I don't think I'm God or anything like that I wouldn't elevate myself But I know that what I do is important to some extent, and if you get something out of it, good. That's why I do it. But if you don't, I understand. <laughs> and I don't just assume if you don't like me, or you don't agree with me, or you don't think that I'm funny, that you're bad. But you're probably boring. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. Most people are boring though. Not just people like you. Ooh. Hey. Look at that Santa. That Santa is so fucking old, dude. It's like from the 70s. Might be older than that. Mm -mm. Fuck, man. Fuck! <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm fine with dying alone. Absolutely, man. Well, every single relationship that I've ever been in, I was clawing my way out of it, so figured don't have to do that again. <laughs> if I don't want to, I realize that the person I was looking for, the person that I most want to be with, is always going to be me. And I hate to break it to you, Potential, special someone that could be anyone. I 
just don't believe in the fairy tale anymore. I don't think it ever existed. But, I don't know. I am kind of sad about that, though. If I sound like I'm grieving somewhat, of course, of course. And I cry so much that my voice gets pretty hoarse. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. So you fucked it up. <laughs> that one? No. It's that one, I think. Mmm. That's interesting. That's kind of hard to do for some reason. Yeah. Dude, I just realized that I had a Christmas tree. I'm thinking about, like, putting that outside. <laughs> dude, it's been here. It's been here for, like, two years, dude. Maybe I should get rid of it. But I don't know how. You know, somebody, somebody on Rumble was like, you need a man, or you need, you need some dick, or something. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> but see, it's not just I'm fine with dying alone, I'm fine with living alone. Like, I want to live alone. I like living alone. You know? It's like, people I've lived with, I have to get away from them. Everybody in my life is just better this way. I think that there are some that aren't meant to be with anyone. And I am one of them. That's driving me crazy that it's not in tempo. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, that's hard to do. It's kind of weird, too. No, no. No. Fuck that. <laughs> no, but seriously, though, I mean, every relationship I've been in, like, even when I was, like, really happy, when I was really in love with a guy, I was like, dude, I just want to kill myself. Like, it was, it was terrible. Like, I just, I, I developed some horrible addiction. Like, I was either, like, drinking all the time or smoking all the time or, like, smoking all this weed. So, like, abusing chemicals of some kind when I was in a relationship. And, of course, watching TV. Of course. Uh, I don't watch TV, naturally. But, um, when I'm with other people, they got the TV on. My parents especially. They were watching some god-awful reality TV. Just say that five times really, really slow. <laughs> That's exactly what society is. Reality TV. That's what it's been for quite some time. But now it's just too noticeable to hide. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, oh, shit. Look at that fucking motherfucker. 